Welcome to the Master of Public Administration program at Delaware State University. By joining this program, you set out to develop your professional skill set, grow as a scholar and practitioner, enhance your career, serve your community, and represent the values of Delaware State University. I'm Dr. Jason Burke, and I'll be advising you, building your plan of study, talking through your needs and interests, supporting you, and guiding you through your degree program. You're always welcome to reach out to me directly via email, and that is the best way to reach me. I keep regular office hours twice a week, and I'm always happy to schedule a phone call or Zoom meeting to discuss anything you need. This video will provide you with some of the information you need to successfully navigate the MPA program at the university. The information in this video will also be offered in other formats so you can view them at your leisure and access the links provided. The first thing you should do is click the link in your admission letter to accept your offer of admission. This helps our team start the process of officially onboarding you to the university. Once you've done that, you should check out the matriculation checklist provided. That checklist will guide you through the entirety of your program. Setting up your DESU email address is important, as this will be the only email address the university uses for communications once you've joined us. Please see the email setup guide for help. As an additional warning, please check your junk or spam folder often, as sometimes the email filters are a bit too aggressive and flag important messages as junk. You'll probably notice that one of the first items on the list is to reach out to me via email and set a meeting to establish your plan of study. With the plan of study in hand, you can register for courses, which you'll want to do as soon as possible. Once you've met with the program director to develop a plan of study, you'll have a map of exactly which classes you'll take and when. Usually before the registration period for a semester begins, the program director will provide a schedule of which classes are offered and who's teaching them and how and when they'll be available. When you're ready to register for classes, you'll consult with your plan of study and course schedule to identify which classes you'll be taking and which sections you'll enroll in. Some courses may be offered in multiple formats, so it's important to pay special attention to which one you're registering for. International students must take at least one traditional in-person course per semester. The earlier you register for courses, the better, because your course registration engages student accounts. The sooner this happens, the sooner and more smoothly your billing and financial aid can be processed. This is important because failing to do this in a timely fashion can result in holds being placed on your student accounts, which causes further problems. If you are seeking financial aid, you should fill out your FAFSA as soon as possible. As a graduate student, all financial aid is in the form of federal student loans. Student loans must be paid back. To minimize your student debt, you should borrow only what you need to pay for classes and handle important expenses. Any financial aid or student loans you receive in the MPA program are your responsibility. Summer financial aid is included in the previous academic year. So if you have a financial aid award for 2022-2023, you should save some of that money to cover your summer 2023 courses. If you're joining us in the summer, you should fill out a previous year's FAFSA by June 30th. So if you're joining us in summer 2023, you should fill out the 2022-2023 FAFSA and the 2023-2024 FAFSA. The MPA program is offered both online and in person. The program can be completed entirely online and most of our students choose this format. That said, we are expanding our in-person and, and hybrid offerings. In-person courses are held at our Wilmington campus on the riverfront. For students who are moving to Delaware to take traditional MPA courses, you're encouraged to look for housing in the city of Wilmington, Delaware. The Wilmington campus is located at 1 South Orange Street, Wilmington. If you're searching for apartments using any apartment search site, our campus is on the riverfront, which is very near downtown Wilmington. Public transportation in Delaware is not as reliable as one might hope, so having access to a car or a good friend with one is, is recommended. We have a team of experienced, knowledgeable instructors who will be sharing their experience and scholarship with you while encouraging you to share your own experience. Each instructor has been handpicked because of their insights, expertise, and service. Whether you're a traditional or online student, you'll access all course materials through Blackboard. You can find Blackboard on the My DESU page, and you should probably bookmark it. There you'll log in using your full email address and email password. Please be sure to use Google Chrome or Firefox, as Safari, Internet Explorer, and others are unsupported. Blackboard has a mobile app, but truthfully, the courses are best experienced on a desktop browser. The first course you take will contain modules with more specific guidance for navigating email, Blackboard, writing, and other important information. 
it's important to log into Blackboard often and check on your classes for materials, syllabi, and announcements. Everything pertaining to your coursework will be available in Blackboard. Once you log in, you can click the My Courses tab and find the classes that you're signed up for. Click on that class and you're in the course. Classes populate in Blackboard about a week before each term begins. You can then navigate around the discussion boards, assignments, lessons and units, remote classrooms, and other options. While each course might be set up slightly differently, they all follow roughly the same format. Traditional classes are held at our Wilmington facility from 6 to 9 p.m. on weeknights. Class start dates, meeting days, and room locations will be announced well in advance. All students are responsible for their own education. All syllabi are provided for you at the beginning of the semester and are complete with class meeting dates, assignments, expectations, and grading criteria. We work very hard to make sure there are no surprises. And it's incumbent on each and every one of you to make sure you attend all class sessions, stay on top of course material, and submit all assignments on time. It doesn't matter what grade you need or want, your instructors will assign the grade you earn. Your instructors will give you lots of feedback for improving your skills and the quality of the work that you produce. We want you to be successful, and all of the criticism is constructive. Please review all feedback and incorporate it into future assignments. We take plagiarism seriously. All of the work you turn in should be your own. Turning in work that someone else completed is a serious violation of academic integrity and will be turned over to Graduate Studies Academic Integrity Committee for adjudication. The penalty for violations of academic integrity could include dismissal from the university. If you ever experience a problem that interferes with your ability to meet course expectations, which happens sometimes, it is important to reach out to your instructor right away. They can help you or make accommodations only if they know there's a problem. Please don't wait until the end of a course to make your instructor aware of a problem that kept you from turning in work. By that point, it's too late for them to help. It's important to maintain good grades in your courses. The graduate catalog states that only courses completed with grades of A, B, or C can be used toward fulfilling graduation requirements. Getting grades of D or F, more than two Cs, or earning a term GPA of less than 3.0 will result in academic dismissal. Be proactive about your coursework. The university prohibits dropping a course solely because of academic performance. All this said, if you have a problem, don't understand the materials or have any questions, you're always encouraged to ask the instructor. While you're here, we want you to build your personal and professional network. To that end, we try to provide you many opportunities to meet each other and professionals from across the discipline. You'll do this through interactions with your peers and professional networking events, internships, fellowships, open houses, and other opportunities. You're encouraged to explore the things you care about, and we wanna help you make those connections whenever possible. Upon completion of your foundation courses, you'll select the three members of your advisory committee. Your advisor will serve as one, and you will identify two other members, both may be faculty at DSU, or you may choose one appropriately credentialed expert from outside the university. These are the people who will be working with you as you complete your capstone at the end of the program. You'll be provided with several resources to help you through this program. We'll provide you with a matriculation checklist that helps you stay on top of program requirements. We also wanna make sure that you have all the resources you need to complete your courses. To help keep things current and avoid undue expense, we've eliminated the, the need to purchase textbooks from most of your courses. For courses where textbooks are required, we've provided a textbook list for the whole program that tells you exactly what materials you'll need to purchase for every course well in advance so you can be prepared on day one. If you have questions about course content, materials, or logistics, you're encouraged to go to the instructor first. If you have more detailed questions or questions about matriculation, the program, careers, or anything else, you're encouraged to reach out to me directly. If I can't help you, I'll be sure to find someone who can help us. Again, welcome to the MPA program, and I really look forward to working with you.